हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ अभय शर्मा एंड वेलकम टू थिंकिंग पेंगुन आई एम एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी फॉर डूइंग दिस टूटोरियल सो लेट बट आई वॉज बिजी वर्किंग ऑन थ्री फ्रीलांस प्रोजेक्ट साइमल्टेनियसली एंड आई मिस कैलकुलेटेड द डेड लाइन्स एंड माई इंटायर स्केड्यूल गॉट स्क्रूड अप फाइनली आई हैव फिनिश्ड ऑल माई प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड आई एम बैक सो इन दिस टूटोरियल आई एम गन टॉक अबाउट डेटा कम्बाइन एंड सेपरेट ऑपरेशंस basically extracting information from one object or building an object by combining several elements an object is basically a collection of different elements or data types which defines how it looks and behave if it makes sense all right so first of all i'm going to use an add on for this tutorial which will help us to visualize elements in an object that we need for this project so search for this add on space view index visualizer bmesh dot py or just look in the video description download it and let's fire blender go to the file preferences add on and click on install from file locate the file and hit install from file now we have to activate it so search visualizer and enable it let's check if it is installed properly select the cube and go into the edit mode by hitting the tab key look for visualizer in the end panel Uh, if i enable this you can see it's displaying the vertex numbers uh, each vertex has a unique index number you can also turn on edges and faces indexes as well okay let's see how can we extract information from an object i'm going to switch to compositing layout let's say that we want to extract mesh information from this cube enable animation nodes go to mesh and create an object mesh data node select our cube now we have access to several elements of this cube like vertex locations edge indices polygon indices etc if i see what's inside vector locations you can see it's a list of vectors i will talk about list probably in next tutorial but right now just understand lists as a collection of elements and each element is indexed or marked so that we can identify which element are we talking about so let's go into edit mode and turn on visualizer vertices are already selected and we can see each vertex indexes number if i select the vertex 0 and move it it should update the vector 0 value in the list but nothing happens because animation nodes does not work in edit mode so we have to exit edit mode hit tab and you'll see it's updated now so let's say i want to extract a particular vector location from this cube well we already know that vertex location is a list of vectors so i'm going to create a get element from list menu connect the vector location to list currently it's set to index 0 means vertex 0 you can change it to whatever vector index you are interested in the output is a vector we can tell it by the output color let's create a transform vector node and connect it to the vector input it connects but this node is redundant here you do not need it now let's separate vector by adding a separate vector node and now we know the location of the vertex 0 and we can use this information to do whatever we want let's see if we are getting the right information okay let's do the same thing with edges I'll create a get list element node. Connect the edge indices to list. Note that the list input is a global input. It can accept different kinds of list inputs. I'm going to leave the index to 0. Let's duplicate the get list element node and connect it. You can ask why. Well, edge indices are a list of lists 
I know it sounds confusing but just bear with me. Edge indices are an edge index list and each edge index is a list of integer values. You can see when I connect the element to list, it inserts a convert to integer list node. And if I see the debug output, it will show us a integer value which is actually a vertex index. Basically to create an edge, you need at least two vertices which I will explain just in a second. So right now edge index is set to 0 which means edge 0 is created from vertex 0 and vertex 1. If I change the edge index number you can see which vertex indexes are used to create that particular edge. So that's data separate. I hope you get the idea. Now I'm going to create a polygon cube mesh by combining different elements like vertices, edges and polygons. But before that I will explain how these elements are formed by doing some drawing stuff. And you can also see my awesome drawing skills. So let's get started. We know that a vertex can be represented with a vector in 3D space, right? To make our life easier, I'm going to use some notations to represent vertex, edges and faces. So V for vertex, E for edges and F for faces. Faces are interesting because it can be a triangular face, a quad face or n gon face. I am interested in quad face. Let's create a vertex in 3D space. I'm gonna name it V1, but as you already know that computers start counting from zero. So I will rename it to V0. A vertex is a vector, right? It can hold three values. This part is vector values. And this part is vector index. In order to create an edge, you need two vertices. So I'm going to create an another vertex V1. You know what? I'm just going to write XYZ. Let's draw the edge. I'm going to name it E0. In order to create a face, you need at least three vertices. So let's create the third vertex, V2. Let's draw the edge. This is our second edge, E1. Now we can draw a face. It will automatically generate a third edge. But that's a triangular face. I want a quad face. So let's create the fourth vertex, V3. And draw our edges. Now we have a quad face, F0. So that is one polygonal face. For a cube, you're gonna need six faces. F0, F1, F2, F3, F4 and F5. Remember the last element's index number is always going to be minus one from the list length. A list length is the total number of elements in a list. So let's do some math here. We need six faces to create a cube, right? And each face will have four vertices. So total number of vertices is going to be 24. But we do not need to create 24 vertices because each vertex is being shared by three faces or edges. If you divide 24 by three, you'll get eight. So a cube has eight unique vertices. Alright, let's create the cube in animation nodes. Create a mesh object output.
click on this plus sign and enable mesh data. This node is responsible for drawing our mesh in 3D viewport. Consider this node as a chef, actually a really dumb chef and you are the head chef, right? I hope nobody gets offended by this, it's just a metaphor. This dumb chef cannot create any recipe on his own. You have to tell it exactly, step by step, to create a recipe. Once he understands it, he creates the recipe with 100% perfection and 100% consistent quality. That's amazing, isn't it? This chef is not dumb after all. So let's give him instruction for creating a cube. The first thing is mesh data. Create a combined mesh data node and connect it. Now we can give a list of vectors for vertex locations. Remember we have to create 8 unique vertices for this. So I'm going to create a transform vector node and connect it to the vector locations. Animation node will insert a vector list node to make our life easier. We should be able to see the single vertex in 3D viewport. You know what, I'm going to create a vector list node to make our life easier. And let's add 6 more vectors. Let's start positioning the vertices. Uh, let's turn on the visualizer. It's painful and confusing so I'm going to fast forward. Ultimately, I have decided to cheat. So, I'm going to create a cube, create and mesh object data node, select our cube, and I'm going to copy all the vector locations to this list. And here we go. Delete the cube and now we have 8 vertices perfectly positioned in 3D space. You can see that. Delete these nodes too. Now I'm going to show you how you can create edges. For that you need to create edge indices. So let's go to mesh, operators, create edge indices. You can see it's a list of integers indicating vertex indexes. It will automatically insert edge indices list. If I refresh the viewport by exiting and entering into edit mode by hitting the tab key two times, you can see an edge is drawn from vertex 0 to vertex 1. Let's create another edge. I'm going to duplicate this node and let's create an edge from 0 to 4, refresh the viewport, create another edge from 4 to 5, and one more from 5 to 1. So that's how we create edges. Let's create faces. For creating faces, you do not need edges. You will get four edges automatically when you create a face, a quad face. Let's create a create polygon indices node. Let's 
let's move these nodes out of the way indices are basically integer lists so either you create an integer list or just hit the w key on the node and choose data input for a quad face we need four vertices so let's add two more integers we have to tell the order of vertex indexes to create the face so let's add 0 1 3 and 2 now if i refresh the viewport you can see we have created a face need to create five more faces so let's do it zero one five four connect that to the list refresh now i'm gonna just fast forward to save your time All right, we are done. We have created a polygon cube mesh. Visualizer indices is a very good add-on and I would like to see this feature in built in animation nodes if possible because it's very good for diagnosis stuff. I'm going to do a feature request for this. So I guess that's it for this tutorial. Please comment and share your thoughts. If you liked this video then please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment or share. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And uh, that's it for now. Yesterday I found out that the acronym for I'll see you next time is not SYNT. So enjoy, talk to you later.